But yo, what's good? It's your boy Don Frio, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by. You know, I got a few topics for y'all to go over, man. I thank y'all so much for hitting up the Facebook, the Instagram. I'm actually on TikTok now. So, you know, I'm trying to get the ball rolling, man. Keep the ball rolling. I know it's been a while since I made one of these videos, actually. But, you know, again, appreciate y'all sticking with me. So let's go ahead and get into the topics, man. So apparently a bride, she ended up having a bachelorette party. You know, they had the girls and stuff, you know. Um, but, you know, every bachelorette party, it is male strippers. There's always male strippers there. I don't know why. They got some freak nasty assholes. But, yeah, some male strippers, man. And apparently at this bachelorette party, one of the male strippers, you know, they put chocolate on themselves and... Put chalk in on his yin yang, on his private part, on his, you know, fill in the blank. I'm trying to keep my ad money. I, I, do I have to say it? But yeah, apparently he put chalk on it, let it drip off, and the bribe. She was up under him uh, catching the chocolate off the man's penis. What? What? So apparently the, uh, the, the sister, um, she ended up sending. Uh, video of what happened to the uh, to the husband or you know to the groomsman and apparently social media is blaming the sister what in the first of all I don't care how what fun y'all having what type of fun is that like I would never want to get married to somebody that's literally catching chocolate off of another nigga penis come on man Y'all, y'all crazy. Y'all weird. And y'all think that's okay? And like, I don't even think that's the girl. I don't know. I think that's just like a random goddamn photo. But apparently this was a, you know, it's been getting posted by a lot of people. A lot of people are blaming the sister for sending the video to the husband. Not blaming the, the bride, the wife, that, again, was catching chocolate off of another man's penis. It's a sick world out here. And imagine. But you know, you know what's scary though? Like, so, you know, a lot uh, one of the comments or quite a few of the comments were saying, like, you know, she should have never sent the video. One girl even said, like, you know, I'm gonna make sure they do it first, you know, they do something nasty first, you know, before I get on any sort of video. So I guess that way they can have leverage on each other. Well, make it so crazy, this seems like a uh, like a normal thing. Like this is some Freak ass shit that be happening, you know, during bachelorette parties. Like, are y'all kidding me? Then the next day, you get married after catching chocolate off of another man's penis. You going to marry your, your, the love of your life? Now, nah, don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to, you know, make it seem like men are, are you know, uh, not guilty or, you know, innocent or whatever. You know, they got the halo around their head. Like, I'm not saying that. But this ain't the goddamn topic. Y'all love flipping the flipping the topic. But what make y'all do that freak ass shit like at a at a bachelorette party? And then you gotta like, <laughs> I would be livid. I can't imagine. And then it's a lot of y'all dudes out there that married a girl that yeah, that got freak nasty. She got freak nasty at, at the bachelorette party. You don't know what she did. The homegirls ain't definitely ain't gonna tell you. All of them did it with her. Stay, stay safe out there, Kings. Y'all stay, y'all stay safe out there, man. I can't imagine the things that 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 women don't tell. <laughs> that women don't tell they man, you know, that happened at the bachelorette. But then at the same time, I heard stories. From the man's side. Them bachelor parties, you know, they get crazy too. What well, we'll make y'all on both sides? What we'll make y'all do that freak ass shit and go and get married? This is like one last, like, okay, let me just get this out of my system type of thing. Eh. It don't seem right. Cause I I I wouldn't see, I wouldn't be able to kiss her no more. Catching chocolate off of another man penis. I wouldn't be able to kiss her. You don't know where that man penis been. Like, you don't know where it's been at. And 
you catch a chocolate off of his shit. I just imagine you would have cared something and, and, and you would have kissed your, your your man and then now both of y'all got the bum bump on you and you got down lip. Come on, man. In no form of fashion is that okay. I don't care what the fuck y'all talking about. Y'all not, y'all not going to be able to convince me otherwise that that is okay. Y'all can't convince me. There's no way. Yeah, I got to do better. Man, like, I'm sitting here shaking my head because I'm trying to picture, like, myself. And, like, what makes it so crazy? I've been unmarried somebody. They end up doing this. And they don't tell me. It never comes out. <sighs> I'm getting a sick twist of feeling in my stomach, man. It's not the pizza I just ate. It's imagining the love of my life catch a chocolate off of another man. Wow. Wow. I can't. Y'all be safe out there, man. I, I want to go to the next topic, man. I'm, I'm, <sighs> yeah. So Nelly claims that uh, the 2000s was the toughest era in hip hop ever. Ah, who? For all of my 90s babies. Not y'all old heads that grew up in the 70s and 80s, in the, 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 the 90s. Cause that was that was a huge transition, eighties, yeah. But huge tra huge transition. I ain't gonna lie, man. I need to pay. Mm, 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 mm. And what? Get the stumping in my air force. I ain't gonna lie. We had some heavy hitters. Fifty Cent, Nelly, Usher. Um, who else, man? It, it, it was some heavy hitters out there, man. Like for real. And this is this is when hip hop really transitioned over. This is before they got to like the heavy trap and stuff. Like this is when they was really transitioning over. Like you got Lil Wayne that just went nuts with all the goddamn you know mixtapes and everything coming out. Hey, in 04, I was listening to the Carter. This was what like the Carter two, I think. 2000s was a was a heavy hitting era. He lit some of the people. Uh, yeah, 50 Cent, Luda, Luda was crazy. Luda was on another platform. I feel like he was he to me. Luda was ahead of his time, and I feel like a lot of people give him that gimmicky rap label because um, the stuff he was spitting and like you know his his videos. His videos was crazy. Like, I'm glad he was one of the few that was able to give both, you know, as far as like both video, both video and lyrics, you know, the music was good and the video was good. It's just that I feel like he was ahead of his time with the big shoes and stuff like that. That's why I feel like y'all really need to pay attention to what he was really saying. That man was, that man was on another platform. But you had Eminem, you had, you know, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Luda. DMX was just man, R.I.P. to DMX, man. That man was that man was like that man is one of the goats, man. He had me. I'm I'm in middle school singing. Uh, what's that? Slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Uh, slipping, I'm falling, I got to get up, get back on my feet so I can touch. Man, I was, I was in. Yo, he made me feel like at six, in sixth grade, I had issues, I had problems, I was going through things. I wasn't going through. I'm a goddamn sixth grade. I'm going through. He made you feel like whatever you was going through at that time was like. Like big, like it was really like something like to fight through, chip on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Cause I scared of them. Mm -hmm. Man, come on, man. I don't even. And I, I, I see little Eminem uh, name up there, man. It's got me thinking about that that Benzino stuff, man. Gosh, I wish I would have never seen that shit. 
So apparently Eminem uh, made a mixtape. A whole mixtape. This ain't just one song. This man made multiple songs. Uh, on some racist ass shit. Um, towards black people. It was really towards um, he them going through a heartbreak. Uh, and I guess uh, the, the black girl that he was dating at the time broke his heart. But this man was saying like some racist, like talking about how white girls better than black girls because all they do is talk, like it's crazy. You you gotta you guys gotta look it up, man. Like. And apparently this is old stuff. This is like something that they tried to bury once he had came out. Once he, you know, he started getting his buzz and things like that. His team, uh, that man got one hell of a PR team. But apparently uh, they end up, the source actually was the one that, that, that after some time had found the, I guess somebody, you know, sent it to him and they had released it. But even when they released it, like, it didn't hit too many ears. But that's it. The fact, and then like that, make you second guess everything because everybody, you know, you got your side that call call Eminem um, a culture vulture, and but then, you know, everybody like, nah, you know, he, you know, that stand man, da da da, da. and lyrically he was like one of the one of the best out there, man. He didn't have to talk about like slinging drugs or things like that. He wasn't really a tough guy, so you was able to relate to him no matter who you was. But that racist stuff, man, that, that you you got a second guess it now. You you got to. You can't you can't overlook that. We can't we as black folks can't overlook that same nah man. He's still invited to the cookout. It's Eminem, man. It's old. Now the same people that are saying that's telling people to get over slavery. Like, come on, man. You can't you can't you can't be in a culture and diss the goddamn culture. Then move around like you untouchable. Like y'all, what happened to the cam- What happened to cancel culture? I know what happened to it. Y'all got too selective on the people y'all was canceling. Cancel culture is people that need to be canceled regardless of who they are. Y'all real finicky and picky and choosy and shit like that when it comes to certain people. Eminem, I feel like he should get that same treatment. And this is coming from, again, I was a big Eminem fan. Like, I was a big Eminem fan. Like, I used to know his songs verbatim. But, hey, I'm able to change my opinion when I hear new information. So, with that new information, I can't, I can't, I can't be cool with that. I don't want to see Eminem in no top whatever anymore. I don't care what run he did. I don't care what he did in the past. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. Nah. I can find somebody else to put in that top five, top ten, top fifteen, whatever. Let's go ahead and move that. And you gotta put an asterisk of, um by his name. Just like they do um you know in baseball, you know, uh Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, how they got that little asterisk because you know they they took um Performance enhancers Like you gotta do The same thing with Eminem Like yeah He had a good run But eh, Man racist as shit Yeah he was a good Rap artist but He didn't like black people Like come on That's like me Getting the country And hating white people Like come on What the What the What the what But I ain't gonna lie though, Benzino, you weird ass nigga. Like, what made you go on drinking champs and start crying, bro? What are you doing? Like a grown man crying. Like, I, I get it. Uh, I don't want to make it seem like I don't understand. I understand. I get it. I I I resonate. You was trying to push push a mess push a message. You was trying to to rile, you know, to show that like, yeah, man, we need to come together. But nah, man, I don't know. It's hard for me to tell somebody not to feel as strongly as they feel about whatever situation, because he was a, he was the advocate behind you know people canceling Eminem 
A lot of people wasn't really feeling the whole cancellation thing. A lot of people was blaming, you know, Ben Zeno, you know, for being a hater. But that man ain't no hater. That man was telling the truth. Eminem racist and shit. Like, why are we letting him in the culture? Why are we, why is he walking around untouched? Like, and then Eminem's uh, rebuttal was that, was that, oh, he was just heartbroken. We ain't let Liam Neeson or whatever the hell he had to do from Taken. When you talking about he, he wanted to hit, uh, he wanted to go, what he said? He said something like he wanted to hit or kill a, a black person because someone, a black person, like he, he had pretty much saying like a situation made him hate all black people. Same thing with Eminem. Whatever situation, that situation, that love relationship made you to the point where you, you hate all black women? Come on, man. We gotta we as a as as the cancer culture that y'all are. Y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta change that, man. Next subject, man. And Bazino, don't no, don't go on nobody goddamn podcast crying. Come on, man. Man up. You a goddamn grown ass man. Forty plus and like, come on. Like I get it, but nah, B. That's how you easily become a meme. And then people ain't gonna take your message serious. That's just me. <sighs> y'all can hate this man, Jay Paul, all y'all want. One thing about it, this man is a marketing genius. So apparently they agreed to, um, and uh, I think it's supposed to be aired on Netflix too, which is the craziest thing. But, um, Apparently, uh, Tyson and Jake Paul have signed a contract July 20th. First of all, this is the most random shit I've ever seen. But I can't even be mad at him, man. It's good to see Tyson still getting the bag. You know, Logan, I mean, Jake Paul, as much as y'all hate him, that man getting the bag, man. He's a troller. He know how to work the internet. He know how to make money. That's one thing y'all could... Y'all, y'all might not agree with, but it's facts, man. That man know how to make money. That man is a marketing genius. That man got Tyson. <laughs> that man got Tyson sign a contract, man, for an exhibition fight. Now I will say, if Tyson get knocked out, I'm gonna be extremely upset. Extremely upset. And I feel like Tyson. I feel like. I feel like. As, as Mike Tyson, you got to be careful. Like, this may be like a little gimmicky thing that you like, you know, if I can, let me just do it. But understand, I wouldn't trust Jake. Just an FYI, I wouldn't trust him. Like, he may say, oh, yeah, it's just, a, you know, like, he going to go easy on you or something. That man going to try to, that man going to try to knock your ass out, man. And you better be careful. Because the thing is, Jake has nothing to lose, really. You have everything to lose. You have everything. As Tyson, you have everything to lose, and and Jake got everything to gain. So him uppercutting your ass and uh, hitting your ass like he did Tyron Ty- Ty- Woodley, like, don't let that happen to you, bro, because we as the black folks is not going to be okay with that. Like, Tyson getting knocked out by Jake Paul got to be some racist ass shit. Hate to play the black and white card, but come on. I ain't feeling it. Tyson don't go over there playing with that man like that. Like, yeah, I ain't telling you to knock. I ain't telling you to go and knock his head off, but don't let that man sneak no shit up on you. How you how you as a meme, how you looking stupid? You seen all the other people he, he messed up? They got turned into memes and shit, bro. Like, don't let that man, don't let that man embarrass you in front of millions of people. Yeah, nah. Like, I get you, because the thing is, I feel like Tyson ain't going to even go hard like that. I feel like he really going to get to the point where, you know, he playing around, you know, and then he don't want to knock him out. You know, he want to make sure he stay up so that way people can enjoy the fight. And I get it. But you going out, you going out like you, oh, like, we got an agreement. Like, he, oh, I know he ain't gonna hit me. All right. That man gonna sneak the shit out your eye. Y'all ain't gonna be sleep on the canvas, bro. Don't do that to us, bro. Like, Tyson, man, we, we love your career. We love you as a boxer. You're a good person. Like, 
don't end don't go out like that bro come on not no goddamn Jay Paul but now nah, I, I I I have no problem with it like I said I, I see what it is it's a marketing thing you're giving people what they want I don't see it as like anything major and they both of them gonna get millions of dollars hey man <laughs> like it's, it's gonna be entertaining like what else? How, how how can I hate on that? How can y'all hate on that? The only thing is, like, if Tyson get knocked out, like, I'm, I'm going to be highly, highly upset. That's just me. Just saying, man. So, apparently, um, in Oklahoma, y'all can, y'all can read about this uh, later. Um, but, apparently, uh, uh, a deputy... A deputy was going 96 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone and hit somebody on a goddamn pipe. Yeah, y'all listen to this. Not only was the deputy like the deputy was he was just going 96 miles per hour. Apparently he wasn't even like responding to any sort of call or anything. This man hit a nigga on a bike. The man was on a bike. And they talking about giving him giving him they tell them, <laughs> this ain't funny, but this just goes to show you how 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 like these thugs, these cop thugs, yes, I call them thugs. I feel like the cops ain't are nothing but a, a gang association. I feel like they're a gang. Cops ain't nothing but a gang. These folks is talking about giving this man a ticket. And nigga on the bike dead. Come on, man. The man on the bike is dead. You better get this man a ticket. And then he's talking about uh, with the ticket, he could lose his license for six months. What? I lost my shit for a year. Also, tra some lad traffic violations for running red light. This man killed somebody? His license could be gone for six months? Like, Am I tripping? Am I like and somebody he could face fines up to a thousand dollars? This man killed some look at that goddamn picture, bro. This man killed somebody. That man is not here anymore. You charging him six months of his license being gone and a thousand dollar fine? Come on, man. Where's where's the where's the justice for that? They haven't released who got hit yet. No signs of breaking. No signs of even hitting the brakes before impact. I don't know, man. That don't seem right to me. That, that it just don't. That don't sit right with me, man. That shit is sad. Somebody don't have, and I, I'm just assuming. I'm not saying, but the, the the facts are facts. This man got a family. This man may have kids. This man may have a wife. And you took him. You took him from them. And all you getting is six months without your goddamn license? Or, like, that's what I'm saying. This is why the, the system is fucked up. This is why the system is fucked up. Like, how? how, how ah, it's frustrating, bro. This man hit me 96 miles per hour. No justice. Y'all for the right, this man, a goddamn ticket. Look at that goddamn car. What's wrong with y'all? And y'all gonna find some type of way, some weird ass way to justify this shit. I don't know. Again, he's dead. That guy is gone. He's not hurt, injured. Oh, I see you. This man is gone. His soul is gone. So that's how much his life was worth? I'm just saying.
I'm just saying. You gotta do better, man. But again, it just shows you how untouchable cops can be at times. How untouchable they can be. They could do some shit to you. Apparently, they could kill you and get six months without a license. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what else to say. It's just so fucked up out here, man. Now, y'all be safe, especially the ones in the hood, especially the ones in the in the over patrol areas. Y'all, y'all be safe out here. Apparently, they not give it a fuck. Apparently, we can get murked, get ran over. And shit gonna happen to them. Whew. That's sad. Like, then if a motherfucker can go and find a cop and beat the shit out of his ass, then, oh, that person, I bet you that person get get more trouble than, than what he did. If I go, if I, if, if that person that he hit was my family member, I go find that cop and I beat the shit out of his ass, I would get more time than the cop is getting right now. Ain't there something wrong with that? You kill my significant other, I will get less, I will get more time than you if I go and beat your ass for that. Sad, man. Y'all be safe out there. So I'm about to show y'all a video. This video is freaking nuts, yo. So, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let y'all listen to this real quick. This video was taken from the YouTube channels of Edmund North and Memorial, publicly posted footage of their students licking chocolate, peanut butter, and other condiments off feet and armpits, all during their week-long philanthropy events, known as Balto Week for Edmund North and Swine Week for Edmund Memorial. The most recent video is from 2020, but we found videos going back to 2015. We sent the video you just watched to Edmund Public Schools asking what? for a response. They noted the feet licking what is happening? didn't happen this year, and the district spokesperson didn't respond directly to the videos we sent. What is the world coming to? You got kids licking chocolate off of a grown ass adult. Just imagine your kids. And this gotta be like some some pedophile shit. Like, ain't no way as a as a principal you you agree to that. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna let my school do this event. Like they hey they out here grooming your kids, y'all. I, I still can't believe it. I still don't understand. Like, this world is crumbling. It's imploding. What the fuck made you think my... And then, like, I, I guarantee they didn't ask none of the parents of these people, like, before they did this. Like, at my pet rallies, we did little games where we where we raced each other. We did shoot uh, three-point shootouts. Um... All types of games. We never made one of the teachers take their shirt off and somebody licking their feet. Kids are licking a grown ass man feet. S somebody need jail time. Somebody has to go to jail. Start with the goddamn principal. Cause he he the one that had to approve all of this shit. So the principal need to go down. Every teacher that. The whole the whole goddamn it rests the whole school. Everybody that thought that was okay. And apparently they've been doing this for a while. All the all this all the teachers need to be arrested. The fact that nobody caught this on camera before. Even if they did, man, that's like you got kids licking adults' feet. And then y'all know this whole Nickelodeon thing coming out. Shit, Drake Bell end up uh but they end up dropping some 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 clips on about his uh side of the story, how he was molested. And then you hear things like this, like it like that is pedophile shit. 
You can't do that. That is not okay. You can't have somebody else's kid licking your armpit. Licking chocolate off your armpit. Licking chocolate. That's that, that's sexual. That's not funny. That's not entertaining. That damn near needs to be on OnlyFans. That's damn near child porn. Like, somebody got to go to jail. Somebody got to go to jail. Somebody got to get arrested. I feel like the whole staff need to be fired. The whole teacher staff need to be gone. Because for one, you're doing it. For two, you, you're watching it. And for three, you okay with it. Because just imagine what else they was doing before that. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all make sure y'all protect y'all kids. This is why y'all need to be, as, as parents, y'all need to be more involved in what y'all kids are doing in school. More involved in what y'all kids are doing, period. Let alone goddamn school. I guarantee them parents didn't know what the hell was going on. I guarantee the parents did not know what was going on. There's no way they 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 saw they knew that their kid was doing that shit. I would be furious if my kid told came back and told me that he licked some goddamn adult feet. I beat they at man on oh my kid. Like everybody gotta die. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I am not okay with that. I would never be okay with that. What parent would be okay with that? Like, I guarantee y'all y'all didn't tell the parents nothing. I'm glad they got out, though. I, I'm, I'm so happy that someone recorded that and took it to took it to whoever they had to take it to the, the news station, the, the police station. I'm glad because that's wrong. Someone, multiple people need to be locked up for that. It looks like they got an investigation going on. Everyone needs to be investigated. That 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 whole school would be shut down if it was me. That whole school shut down. Go ahead and change the schools, uh, the school zones, so that everybody kind of split and go into other schools. Allow the buses from the other schools could to ride in the rain so they could pick up the kids. That whole school would be shut down. Everybody else got to go to a different school. Everybody else got to go to different schools within they within they. Uh, within the adjusted zone, the whole like that whole school got to be shut down now. Investigation, it, it should be a state, federal. That is that is child porn. That that's mm -mm, that's not right. Everybody need to be investigated, and multiple people need to be going to jail. Anything short of that is is not justice. Fuck justice. Like I said, I, I can only I feel for the parents that that's just not realizing what's going on in, in that. And then what makes it so. Oh, my gosh. I feel so bad for the parents of. The kids that was in the vid, that was in the specific videos. You got to live with that. But I hope. And this is why you really got to talk to your kid. You got to get your kid to understand that certain things are wrong. Like, like this is why you can't protect your child for too long. You can't have them up under this whole cover and like try to try to cover them from the world because real life shit like this happened and they're not gonna know that this is wrong. Them people, them kids that's doing that, they don't know that this is wrong. They feel that it's entertaining. And like, it, like as a child, as a kid, I will like. So me as a parent, I will want my kid to understand that okay this is weird this is not okay they want me to lick someone's foot a grown man foot anybody foot like to, like talk to your kids teach your kids if anybody do anything weird that you like eh, even if even if they don't feel it because again these kids are manipulated they 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 think they having fun to them they having fun so this is this this is entertainment. Where have you seen any sort of entertainment like this anywhere on TV where they licking each other? Kids licking adults. Kids licking adults. 
kids licking chocolate off adults, kids licking ch chocolate off adults' feet. That is, come on, man. I'm trying to keep my ad money. That shit gonna be gone. That's not okay, man. Y'all gotta fix that. Then, like, anything less than the arrest again, that principal need to be the fuck out of there. And I'm talking about multiple years. Get them out of that, man. But I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with today. These these topics. These top who. And the thing is, um, when I when I see these topics, I, I I be like, you know what? I need to talk about this topic. So this is like when I come and record these videos, these is my first time talking. I don't go to other people and be like, hey, what about this? Da, 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 da. This as y'all hear it coming out, this is like this is not practice. This is me saying like, whoa, this is crazy. Let me save this. Boom. Let me upload this and hit record. So, yeah, sometimes I don't have real in-depth things to say. I'm reacting with y'all. And, and a lot of this shit. Like, this shit crazy, y'all. Some of this stuff, I don't be knowing what to say. I am flabbergasted. Because, again, I can only... I, me, I like, I like to... I feel like I do this on an automatic thing. I put myself in other people's shoes. So, I'm, even when it comes to that whole bachelorette party, I'm putting myself in the husband's shoes. When it comes to... Um, the the deputy hitting that guy on the on the on the bike and killing him. I'm putting myself in the family shoes. Um, when it comes to the kids licking the goddamn feet, I'm putting myself in a parent's shoes. Hell, the Eminem thing we we're just talking about. I'm putting myself as a black man, giving you my opinion from that. And I feel like that's why a lot of these stories be impacting me, man. For real. Cause like this shit, this shit crazy.